You know, our pets are like children to us, and we want to be sure that, you know, when they're sick or when they need a checkup, they get the best possible care. Well, today on the show, we're at Lakeview Animal Hospital in the Lakeview Village in Diaberville, right across from the Grand Cinema. So we're going to go in and meet Dr. Sheffield and show you this new establishment and why you should choose Lakeview when it comes to your pets. And Dr. Michael Sheffield is the uh, the veterinarian here at Lakeview. How are you? Doing well. Doing good to, well. Good to meet you. Coming. Well, thanks for having us out here. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and okay. uh, what brought you to this area. Well, uh, you know, I graduated from uh, Mississippi State here in 2009 from okay. veterinary school. And uh, I grew up on the Gulf Coast, was born and raised in Long Beach. Um, felt like this was the place to come back to. It's home. The Gulf mm -hmm. Coast is what I know. This seems to be an area that's growing. And mm -hmm. uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, being able to provide some services out here. Now, um, uh, Lakeview Animal Hospital, of course, brand new uh, up here in the D'Iberville area. Beautiful facility, and we're going to show you some of it here in just a little bit. But um, I guess the services you provide, you know, regular checkups, things it'll like be, that. It'll be routine care, so vaccines, puppies, cats is what we're, we're mainly looking at. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not doing any exotics right now or, or a large animal. It's just going to be cats and dogs. Um, but yeah, routine checkup. So vaccines, puppy checks, check ears, all the way to, you know, we can do some more specialized things as well. Um, we have digital x-ray, digital ultrasound. Um, we can do surgeries as well. So mm -hmm. anything as little as spays and neuters up to your more complicated soft tissue surgeries. Okay, we're going to show you some of the uh, surgery rooms in just a little bit. Uh, you also do boarding here. We and do. some really nice boarding areas. Absolutely. We have a, right behind here, we have a cat condo um, that looks out. It's actually uh, backed up against the window here, so the cats that are boarding have some something to look at, something to see, but, uh, and then we also have some boarding facilities in the back, some kennels for the larger dogs and some cages and things for the, uh, for your smaller pets. And of course, the way the, uh, the, the mirrored windows are set up, you, you don't have to worry about people walking by and going, tee, 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 Exactly. And, 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 and aggravating them. So it, it's really, really nice. And they do have some larger kennels uh, um, that, uh, you know, for, and you also have um, areas for uh, big dogs. Yes. Um, uh, and the, those that maybe need to be, you know, that you may be working on that need to be quarantined. Absolutely. Yeah. We do have an isolation facility. Um, that is for dogs that have something like parvo, which is, you know, one of the, the biggest, most contagious diseases that mm -hmm. we deal with probably in the south, second to heartworm disease. Um, we deal with parvo quite a bit, and it's something that is uh, really contagious, and uh, we, we need a space to keep those separated from the healthy, healthy population. Um, so we have that uh, here as well. Now, uh, one thing, too, is proper diet for dogs and cats. And I noticed you have a, a great line of the, the prescription diet plans here. Uh, this is something you, know, a lot of, you tell a lot of people, you know, sometimes, well, I just go to the, the five and dime store and just get some dog food or some cat food. But it's really, really important, depending on the dog's age, or their health, or, or whatever, that they do eat the right type of food. Exactly, we do. We uh, Right now we're carrying science diet. We may bring in other types of food as well. Mm -hmm. But for right now we're doing science diet. The reason why I chose that, one, it has the prescription diets, which are for your more specific diseases that we diagnose with some pets mm -hmm. that need to be on a certain diet to help maintain their, their healthy living um, and also prevent the disease and further reduce their risk of disease that they're already dealing with. The second thing that we have is what's called uh, their healthy advantage line. Mm -hmm. This is kind of equivalent to like your blue buffalo, your uh, call the wild food. It's an all-natural ingredient. Um, you can only find this at a veterinary clinic. And what they've done is they've taken all the great things of all their prescription food and combined it into a healthy living food. So it's got uh, um, stuff for their joints, stuff for their digestive system, stuff for their coat, um, a kind of an all-inclusive food. Um, mm -hmm. And it's all natural ingredients. They list it right there on the side as to what's what's in there. That's good, um, really good for Very, them. very good food, absolutely. Well, good. Well, let's go take you in the back there and show you some of the uh, other areas that they have here, uh, the surgical rooms and the the, the, the new um, pieces of equipment that they have. It's absolutely. really, really yep. cool here at Lakeview Animal Hospital in D'Iberville. Now, starting with x-rays, latest technology on x-rays. Absolutely. This is uh, kind of our, our little baby of the hospital here. This is our uh, new digital um, x-ray. We also have digital ultrasound down here. Uh, and what this is, is, is an actual, it's a cloud-based digital x-ray. And, mm -hmm. and what that is, is when we take our shot, um, this is all touchscreen. We can zoom in. Um, we can refocus on here, um, edit how we want to. And then when we're done, we can actually send this over to a cloud-based server on the internet 
pull it up on our iPad, show the clients in the room on our iPad the x-rays, what we've done, and be able to explain them there. Um, it also allows us to be able to send these electronically uh, to uh, a specialist mm -hmm. or a referring, uh, another referring veterinarian um, that would allow us to, uh, to do that as well. Now, this is a surgical room. Absolutely. After you've done x-rays and everything, this is um, depending on, you know, um, situation. Yes. Yeah, so this is where we will do our, you know, routine spays, neuters. Um, coming, my background is coming from critical care emergency. Mm -hmm. um, got to do a lot of specialized soft tissue surgeries like twisted stomach, uh, which is like bloat. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a real common, very, very much an emergency. Or like, um, a, well, no, I was going to say colic, but that really has to do with the intestines. It's kind of like colic for horses, and yeah. horses, but it's more for dogs where um, it's usually in large breed deep chested dogs where their stomach actually fills with air and then will actually twist and really? then continue to fill with air and, and, and can be lethal. It can, it can actually be uh, So very, if you've got a big dog and you think they're just getting extra fat. Uh, you, it, it would be an emergency situation. So it'd be one of those things where they just got done eating, was outside playing, then came in, seemed really painful. Their stomach looks really enlarged. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be uh, uh, where you would be a little concerned and may want to get them checked out. Right. Uh, but that's kind of you know the things that I've dealt with in the past and and am capable of doing you know uh, as far as soft tissue surgery goes. Mm -hmm. so, so we can get really specialized and, and also do the simple things too. Quote unquote simple. There's really no such thing as a surgery that's simple. There's always complications right. involved. But spays, neuters, declaws um, to more advanced things like uh, you know broken legs, hip hip surgeries, mm -hmm. um, soft tissue surgeries. We do that as well. We have a, a, a full um, monitoring system which allows us to look at EKG, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, blood pressure. So as far as being able to watch vital signs and keeping them as as uh, um, under anesthesia and as healthy as possible. So y'all so pay as much attention to them as you know a, a surgeon would on a human. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we want to make sure that um, everything is working as if they weren't even under anesthesia uh, or having surgery. We want to make sure that they're not too painful, that they're not too cold, uh, their blood pressure isn't getting too low, and those, those monitors allow us to do that. And uh, what it also allows us to do is allows us to keep them on the least amount of anesthesia as possible. Well, um, you know, these are all, you know, fantastic things that you need to be aware of, especially, you know, you've got, uh, you know, small pets in your house, you know, as you said, dog, cat, or, or like the, the big dog, you said it was like a horse uh, mm -hmm. that you have out, out uh, front. But, uh, of course, you're found on Facebook. You yes. have a website that you can go to. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, tell us the hours that you're open here, if you will. Right now, we're just open um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, Thursday and Friday from 8 to 5 and then Saturday from 8 to noon. We're not open on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, we're not taking emergencies right now, so just kind of refer to your emergency center that you, you know, that they have in the Gulf Coast area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once things get busier, we hope to be open, hope, hope to be open longer. All know, right. Monday through Saturday. Great to meet you. Absolutely. Thank Lakeview you. Lakeview Animal Hospital. It's out by the, uh, the cinema in D'Iberville.